You know, in India, if a cat crosses the street, people park their cars even today. You know why this happened? to make the buildings you, you, you know, your talk is so, so, so contemporary uh, all the time. Uh, it re reminds me of something you said at the World Economic Forum in Davos, mm -hmm. where I heard you speak. You said that you now need contemporary wisdom in contemporary times. Hey, isn't it? You know, Why is it that people think that 2,000 years ago or 5,000 years ago, human beings were more intelligent than what they are today. It's a shame. <laughs> because because they, we identify wisdom as ancient. <laughs> they, they go together. So there can stuff. be no wise in the present. Hmm. So somewhere we believe people but, of the past were more intelligent than us. But wisdom should be wisdom. Why should it change? Why, why should it change with time? That's what I'm why saying. Why ancient wisdom, why contemporary wisdom? Wisdom should be See, wisdom. See, wisdom may be contemporary or ancient because uh, our life situations keep changing and how you respond to that also has to change. So I would say wisdom has to be contemporary. Mm. Otherwise, if what you did, something that was wonderful 10,000 years ago, if you do it today, it could be ridiculous because it could be totally out of sync with Give what's happening now. <coughs> Give me an example or a couple of examples. Any number of rituals we are doing. For example, many superstitions that are day here today were all wonderful things at one time. They're out of time. For example, you know, in India, if a cat cross crosses the street, people park their cars even today. You know why this happens? If you trek in these mountains, if a tiger comes or any big cats come, like a panther or a tiger, it's a natural instinct for them. Whenever they cross an open space, after crossing the open space, they'll sit there at the edge of the space, look back and cover their tracks. This is a natural instinct in the cat. So if you're walking on a forest pathway, if you saw a big cat crossing, he will be sitting there and you don't walk straight into him, you wait. Because hmm. he sits there for a minute, checks his tracks and goes on. This is about big cats, not about a house cat, not when he's crossing a highway and you're sitting in a car. And, and <laughs> so, so that's how uh, superstition came into Yes, being. most of the superstitions at one time were scientific facts for people who lived in those times. Right. But we continue the same thing in exaggerated ways today, it becomes a silly thing to do.